Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate one of our premium carburetor kits, uh, the PK100, um, which is a kit that we have designed and we included uh, everything we can that is available for uh, uh, this particular carburetor uh, so that, uh, you know, if you're rebuilding your carburetor, you got a classic car, which I'm sure that's what the, this is for. Um, you want to make it look good, and that's the way I do uh, my carburetors. I change the screws and everything I can uh, by what's available at any rate. Now, um, we're talking about this particular carburetor here. This is a later, later model 2100, and if you have this on here, and uh, we're not talking about some of the American motors and Jeeps are a little bit different, uh, but this is a carburetor we're looking at, regular 2100. Uh, they came with the tag. This is how you identify your carburetor. Uh, if you match the tag number with uh, what we have listed for this kit, uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, if you don't have the tag, you're going to have to look for hints. And uh, um, in this listing, you will find uh, uh, information on how to figure out which kit you have. Anyway, so for the for the common 2100, not Jeep, here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, there's a new float. We got uh, a couple of flange gaskets. I believe this is for the, uh, uh, they, they put two in there probably for on the top and bottom of the spacer. Uh, it's two different types of float bowl gaskets. Obviously, you're, you're only going to need one of them. Uh, your Venturi cluster gasket. Uh, a couple of different kinds of choke. Uh, gaskets. Now here's your a new choke retainer. Like I say, we uh, we try to put some things in there to to make it look good. We get a new auxiliary pump diaphragm and uh, a new diaphragm stud. Uh, some of these need them to extend them on. Um, and then uh, here's your pull off, your choke pull off. And like I say, this is what d will distinguish. Uh, this carburetor from some of the others. Uh, this kit will work on most uh, 2100s. The difference is we've included this uh, diaphragm. We'll probably have a premium kit for the other ones also. Comes with a couple sets of uh, 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 instructions and exploded view, which is pretty good. We have a lot of information, even, or even a rebuild uh, video on our website. Um, here's the gasket for your power valve, your power valve uh, uh, washer. Comes with the standard size power valve, probably an 8.5 is my guess. Um, standard for uh, the standard vacuum. Spring and uh, idle mixer screw and spring. A little clip for your uh, float. Got a couple different types. And then, uh, of course, we'll have a needle and seat with a Viton tip. Uh, we got a new uh, fast idle uh, lever, which uh, tends to break easily on these 2100, so we include that little uh, gasket for your choke. There's your other idle mixture screw, incidentally. And screw. Got your little umbrella check valve. Now I'm just going to put some of these small parts out here. You can see them. Uh, here's an expansion plug that. Uh, You'll need for your, uh, you won't find this in any kits, you'll need this for your uh, choke clean out. You take that plug out, clean it out real good where the choke piston goes into. You want that to move really well. Uh, this is your seat for the needle. Uh, and then we come, we have, uh, this is your measuring stick incidentally. Some other little fiber washers and your check balls. Uh, we have the uh, choke shaft and thro throttle shaft screws. Uh, keep in mind they may not be exactly look like the ones you have now uh, but you know we get as close as we can on these things and uh, so we got new float bowl screws uh, we have new screws for uh, uh, things like your uh, uh, well for one thing for putting on your choke cover uh, new screws for your uh, uh, choke guard here. Uh, new screws for your accelerator pump diaphragm. Now these are screws and not the original bolts. And uh, you get new screws for your uh, power valve here. 
so there you go. Uh, like I say, we've included just about everything uh, available uh, to make your carburetor look good and make your uh, rebuild successful. And uh, like I say, the number on this is a PK100. Uh, go to my website, uh, mikescarb.com, and uh, we appreciate your business. Thank you.